finishing touches now and there's a few little rusty bits that we've uh, needle gun but they're still looking a little bit um, lumpy and little bits, just little bits need grinding off. Along here, there's been some uh, pretty scary looking welding on there. God knows what's been welding on it. But um, we've come this far, we may as well uh, make it beautiful. This is looking beautiful. I've got much to order the graphics today. Now I've got a man come to see TVRT parts and we've got quite a lot. For a Christmas present idea, not anymore. Come tank driving, buy one of these vouchers. If you buy it direct, it lasts forever. I don't care if you leave it in your sock drawer for 10 years. It's still valid. Tanks a lot. Jackson's first haircut. I'll give him a little trim up around his fringe and his ears. And it's not gone down too well. Not gone down too well, has it? Only a little bit on his fringe, so it didn't go in his eyes. And he's got to have his ears exposed a bit, so as he looks more kind of manly. No, you absolutely butchered my kid. It's not a butchered. It's just a little bit kind of um, short around. The, the word cut means less. He's still got curly bits on the back, but I've just exposed his ears a bit, so it didn't look so Shirley Temple. <clears throat> we can call him Turley. Well, the temperature turned exactly right, so as it was even. So basically, the air was the same temperature as the tank. So Ashley and I quickly set to and um, put a couple of coats of poo over this one, good thick coats as well. And um, I didn't do so much on the headlights because I know I'm going to end up taking them apart, but it looks like Ashley has actually. But um, uh, yeah, so I don't think they've been tested, so I've got to take them apart. I wasn't going to paint them. But yes, it's looking rather cool, rather nice. The chassis has been done. We've left a few of the wheels haven't been done. So we can um, do them in dark green and then join it all up. You're right, Biggie. We go for a walk in a minute. Go and have a look about, see who's around. Yeah, it should make a nice vehicle. Now, what's really interesting is outside, We've had a couple of vehicles commissioned to be a display outside the factory. And um, I said to the gentleman, whatever you buy, make sure it's complete. It doesn't have to be a runner, but make sure it's complete. And then one day, someone will restore it and it will still be a bloody good investment. So um, we've got a fancy Saracen, which I've had for oh, 15 years, and a tree grow through it. But... Um, Night Shift is doing a very nice tree, cutting the tree out. Can you see the tree? You see that branch? That's grown up up behind the suspension and then it's gone through the towing eye. Which actually, that towing eye would have been quite useful to pull it round. I know he's using the lower ones, I guess. But um, this was one of an order of about 50 and this one was restored and they spent about a quarter of a million pounds on it. It's got different suspension, all sorts of upgrades on it and it went to Malaysia. Uh, they didn't get the contract. So um, I had a deal with the people and I said, I'll buy a load off you if I can have your demonstrator. And it was a beauty, but it didn't have a turret. So I found it a turret and then I put everything it had ever need lobbed in the back. And um, yeah, it's not gonna be, it's just gonna be a static, but it's a very, very straight vehicle underneath that moss and mold and trees. So uh, we're gonna needle gun it off and get it minty. Two coats of red oxide rub it down, spray it in red oxide, and then paint it twice. I think he wants it in sand, actually, which is quite handy. And then behind it is a rapier launch, and that's having the same thing. But not now. We're going to fit him in between jobs. We haven't got any more 4.3 series to go in the workshop just at this moment. But I reckon in about four days' time, we'll have another couple. What could possibly go wrong? I tell you what, that is a big old bit of wood, isn't it? It's grown in there a tree. Yeah. And you can't even beat it out with a sledgehammer, can you? No, no. No, you could burn it out. <laughs> drill big holes in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, drilling's probably the best way, actually, thinking about it. Could well be. With a 12 mil bit and just drill big holes in it. That would be quicker than cutting it. Probably. Although I have got a chainsaw. <laughs> could blunt the teeth on the armour. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, like I say, the uh, rapier launch behind it, that's going to be a little bit more difficult being aluminium. Won't be easy to needle gun that without leaving a million pock marks. Right, well, Wiggy, Biggie, are you ready? Should we go? Ready? Come on then, Biggie. Not all painting vehicles. There's a lot of shuffle to do and there's a lot of mud, mud, mud shoveling as well. What's the heavy work? A-frames and shit like this. Now, somehow we've got to get this to Birmingham and back these A-frames. And I don't really want to put them in my Range Rover. But I think they're too long. They are a bit long, aren't they? 
and then um, this mud's got to be you'll have to shovel it over there on the, in those tracks and then this is what's coming in this old puppy here and um, yes it looks like night crew managed to um, chop out the um, the log that was growing through it and now it's ready for power washing be surprised what that will look like once the old water's hit it because um, it's actually in very very good condition that vehicle it's just moss growing on it over the years what are your plans today biggie yeah, anything important no just got a kept a quality control check then we'll go for a run later okay see if we can bite anyone chase a rabbit catch a mixy rabbit yeah. don't do your christmas shopping stuck for an idea buy him a tank driving voucher great day out tanks a lot got to be power washed to death it's got to be one of the best power washings we've ever done actually it looks very good doesn't it it's, yeah, it's but he's got to get it all off otherwise we'll be a lot of shit on top of it he's still got to um so i mean he's blown all the shit on top of it and then he's left it there so it needs maybe you should help him just with a quick fluff over and maybe it's worth cleaning it's these not, get wet. no no i mean just a quick what just to get it over and then something on them bars because we're taking them with us tomorrow is my beautiful wife. Is that my dinner? Is that my dinner? Yep. Oh, have I got to share it with Biggie again? He loves his dinner time. Woof, woof, woof. It's been a busy morning. <laughs> and um, I'm tied up with some um, pontoon bridge laying people. How exciting. They can cross a river in 20 minutes, joining pontoons together. And I've got to drive tanks across them. Am I mad? And in the meanwhile, um, Ashley's been doing all sorts of clever things and we've got a man come up on a special car crush where he does extra vehicles and uh, he's going to run over there. Oh, we nearly fell off the tank. And he's going to run over that little car. New man. Isn't that something about erections? <laughs> Isn't it? I think it is. I think erectile dysfunction. In actual fact, it's a security service and it's just unfortunate that someone else has come up with another product the same as this guy's security company. How embarrassing. It's a bit like me and the Full Monty. The Full Monty is a tank day we do, where we do all, we do everything. Musket shooting, mortar firing, everything. All the tank dry, and, and then some bloke started this bloody film where they all jump around flapping the willies. So that kind of took the thunder away from it. But we used the, the term Full Monty before he did. We actually had the author come up here and he said he never got a penny for the film and he bought me a can of Full Monty. It's like sausages and beans. Honestly, it's still in the shop. Yeah, he said he wrote the thing, he got money for the, um, for the play, but he didn't get any money for the film. Didn't he slip up there? If we're lucky, Ashley will fall over in the mud and I'll be able to send it to Harry Hill. What a shame, what a lovely little car. Shall we zoom in? There we go. Ashley, why haven't you got that rubber thing stuck on the uh, windscreen? I'm sure new man is something about erectile dysfunction. Can't hear ya. I said, what about that rubber thing we've got from the comedians last week? Shouldn't that be stuck on the car? I wouldn't dare do it. Well, new man is something to do with erectile dysfunction. Have you seen it on the telly? I'm going to come back to this because it looks like there's quite a lot of tuition going on at the other end. Oh, it's looking like he's got the idea of the gears and the accelerator nicely. Okay, and second gear about now. Go on, click it up, go mad. Oh, yep, yeah, second gear. It's in a bit deep mud now. And hopefully we're going to hit that car with one trick. I didn't want, oh dear, now he's going to pull away in a high gear and burn the clutch out. Yeah, no, that sounds about first. It's going to be slow and torturous. Yeah. Yeah. They might be good on fuel, but everybody wants to do that to one. Killed it. Now, I think he's got um, 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 an American Civil War cap on. That's, that's amusing, isn't it, eh? Better check this out. 
This cap looks like American Civil War, doesn't it? Which one? The bloke driving. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. It does, doesn't it? Really? Oh, right. Now, there's a story behind your hat. Yeah, destruction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a hell of a hat. Oh, I do, uh, so where have you come from today? I'm from Florida. Florida, US. I get you. And I uh, okay. do Civil War reenacting there for the last 45 years. I get you. Yeah. So when are we going to open up a branch in Florida? And how many tanks will we have to fly with, out there? With the You're current, up for that, aren't you, current Tom? administration, yeah, that might be a little difficult. Oh, <laughs> well, that's no fun at all. I know. They, yeah, if you're having fun, you're not doing it right. That's what it is in, in Florida at the moment. Yeah. No. Oh, not in the UK. No, there's no, there's no laws against us. We just do everything we want. No MOTs, no um, taxation, no ULES. Wow. That's an inner fine for people who want to take right. a car into London and congestion charge. None of that. Not with a tank. Yeah. If you've got a tank, you, you, they, they rate you cool. I've wanted a tank forever too. Yeah. Besides the government and my wife saying no. Yeah. <laughs> Which is more important. The wife. <laughs> <laughs> quite right, quite right, quite right. Well, you made a hell of a job of that car out there, Thank you. and it uh, went down a tree. Yeah, oh, the only problem in this country, I believe, there's a product called New Man, and it's something you take for erectile dysfunction. So, I might just sort of <laughs> scrub that bit out on the side when, when, we, when we post this. <laughs> Tom told me about that. Stuck for a Christmas present idea get him a tank driving voucher. If you buy it direct, it lasts forever. All sorts of variants, come and play.